Hi, I'm Jason Levine, Principal Worldwide Evangelist for Adobe's Video and Audio Tools, and today I'm going to take you through the process of working with Adobe Prelude CS6 for ingesting, logging, and creating rough cuts from your clips. Now, there's lots of different ways to begin the actual ingest process, and Prelude is a very keyboard-driven application. For me, I just like to click on the big ingest button right inside the dialog, which brings me into this panel here, and you'll see along the left-hand side we have our navigation pane, which will allow us to navigate to any physical drives, removable drives, even cameras that are connected to our system. So once you do that, and you can see I've chosen a folder here, I've got some DSLR footage, now we can start scrubbing over the clips using Hover Scrub, the same Hover Scrub that you'll find in Premiere Pro CS6. So we can kind of see what's going inside of these clips. We've got options to resize the thumbnails, again, to give us a lot more video and a lot less gray, a lot less chrome, and really just see exactly what's happening inside each one of these clips. So if I wanted to bring them in as they are, I can simply select a few of them here, click on the checkbox, and choose ingest. And when I do that, it brings me right to the project panel where I can double click on one of these, pulls up the monitor, and now I can begin playing these back. Now you'll also notice that I've already got some comments in some of these. We'll get to that in just a minute. But what if I actually want to ingest not the entire clip, but just to do a partial ingest, a piece of that clip? Well, you can do that also. Let's go back to the ingest dialog here. Let's click inside one of these clips and you'll notice that we get a playhead now just like in Premiere Pro. Now I have the option to actually use my J, K, and L keys and I can set in and out points using I and O to do a partial ingest of this media. So let's go ahead and do that. I, O, and we're ready to go. So I can choose this clip and now I'm going to go over to my transfer options where now I can create subfolders, I can actually transfer or actually transcode the media into different formats, into multiple locations, and then bring it directly into my Prelude project. So you can see that I've chosen a destination folder, I've got a subfolder being created, and I actually want to transcode this media. Now if you don't transcode, it's just using references. It's not it's not changing the media, it's not copying the media over in any different format or anything like that. If we actually transcode, now we're creating new files. So let's go ahead and choose transcode. You can see here we have all different types of formats that you can choose from, including DPX or, or target sequence or MXF OP1A. Let's just go ahead and choose H.264 for, for uh, this demonstration here. Let's go ahead and choose something like a 720p24 preset, and you'll see that we have other destinations that we can send this to if we want it. Let's go ahead and choose ingest, and when I do that, the brilliant thing here is that now it's actually processing this in Adobe Media Encoder in the background, and now that clip appears inside the project panel. So again, really simple to bring in full media or even partially ingest media right inside Prelude. Now the next step, of course, is to actually add markers to this video, and this process is the process known as logging. And we're going to focus on the first two types of markers here, subclip and comment markers. So let me go ahead and choose a different clip here. Let's see how... Uh, this one looks like. Okay, this looks pretty good. And what I'd like to do is actually just play this back and begin adding markers. So first I'll add a subclip marker, and then I'm going to add a comment marker like this. We'll start playback. One for subclip marker. Let's type in a name. Car on ramp. Give it a description. Driving. And we're done. And you can actually see that now inside the marker inspector we have subclip marker, we have the in and out point, and we have my descriptions here. Now again, we can modify the duration of these markers simply by clicking and dragging this hot text here. You'll see that it modifies the length of that marker. Let's go ahead and add a comment marker on this one as well. Again, we'll start playback. Number two for comment. Type in a description. This is a comment. O to set my out point, and again, now we have our comment marker. Now once I do that, you'll notice that inside the timeline panel here, there's a little asterisk next to the clip name, indicating that this is now a dirty clip, meaning that we've modified the metadata. So if we want to maintain that metadata, we need to save it. So I'm just going to do a command S here to save those changes, and now that metadata is present inside that clip. So now that we've logged the clip in real time live, now I want to begin building up my rough cut. So I can take a number of clips from my panel here, let's go ahead and choose some of these, Choose some subclips as well. And we'll go up to the file menu here and choose create rough cut. Now once again, you can go down here to this button. You can choose the rough cut button here. Lots of different ways to achieve the same thing. When I choose create rough cut, it asks me to give it a name. Let's go ahead and click save. Let's go ahead and choose our clips.
drag them down into the timeline, and now you'll see that any clips that actually have comment markers or any of the other types of markers, they'll actually appear inside the timeline panel. Now this is just a cuts-only sequence storyboard type timeline. So these markers, while they're visible, they're not editable. Okay. Now if you want to edit them, you can go back to the original clips and edit them and save those changes. So once you begin assembling your rough cut here, now we have the option to send this directly to Premiere Pro from the File menu by going to File, Send to Premiere Pro, or we can export this to Premiere Pro or even Final Cut Pro via XML and you even have options to pack up all the media when you're creating this XML file so that you can hand this off to your editor and they have all of the media that you used to actually build this rough cut. It's so simple, it's so easy and it's extremely fast and effective and that's just some of the incredible things that you can do inside Adobe Prelude CS6 for ingesting, logging and creating your rough cuts.